to the first installment of Castle Creations Tech Tips. Today, we'll be discussing the manual programming feature found on all of our Sidewinder and Mamba Series car ESCs. Manual programming allows you to change a limited number of ESC settings using your transmitter and the beeps from the system. The most common setting to adjust is the low voltage cutoff, which must be changed if you're using a nickel metal hydride battery to power your vehicle as the system comes out of the package set up for LiPo batteries. There are nine settings adjustable via manual programming on the Sidewinder and Mamba ESCs that are not part of the X-Series. The Mamba X-Series have five settings that can be adjusted manually. We'll be covering the manual programming steps for Sidewinder and non-X-Series Mamba. The process is the same for the X-Series, but the settings and options are different. Before attempting manual programming, the ESC must be calibrated to your radio. The calibration instructions can be found in the Quick Start Guide and Driver's Ed Guide that come with your ESC. We have a video posted soon on calibration and the link will be posted below in the video description. That's enough talk, let's get to programming. Okay, so here we have a Sidewinder 3 set up in a ProLine MT. We'll be changing setting number 3 to option number 1 at reverse 25% and setting number 7, option number 1, to no cutoff for nickel metal hydride use. It is handy to have your driver's ed guide available and open to the last page to the ESC programming reference guide. Before you begin programming, make sure your radio is bound and the ESC is calibrated to the radio. To begin programming, first turn on your transmitter, then plug in your battery to the ESC. If your ESC doesn't have a switch, do not plug in the battery yet. To begin programming, first hold full throttle on your transmitter and while holding full throttle, turn on the switch or plug in your battery. The ESC will full calibrate full throttle to start, keep holding full throttle, and when you see a yellow LED flashing, relax the throttle to neutral. This is how programming mode begins, on setting number one, option number one. Basically, the ESC is telling us the setting we're on, and then the option that we're on, and asking us, do we want that option for that setting? To answer yes, we go to full throttle. To answer no, we go to full reverse. So we're going to say yes to option number one on setting number one, brake reverse type with no reverse. Hold full throttle until you hear the confirmation beeps and relax to neutral. When you say yes to an option, it will skip the remaining options in the setting and move to the next setting. Now it's on setting number two, option number one, break amount 25%. We're gonna say no and by pressing full reverse. Wait for the same confirmation beeps and relax to neutral. The ESC has now moved on to setting two, option two, 50% break. We're gonna say yes to that by going to full throttle. Confirmation, back to neutral. We're now on setting three, option number one, which is 25% reverse. We're gonna go ahead and change this from default and say yes to 25%. Now we're on 4 1. We're going to say no to that. Four two, say no. No again. No one more time. This is 4 5. We'll say yes. One. We're going to go ahead and say yes to this to keep the drag brake disabled. Say no. Six two is default, so we'll say yes. This is seven one, so if you're using nickel metal hydride, we're going to go ahead and say yes to this for no cutoff. Say no to low timing. Yes to normal timing. And 
and yes, they're brushless for the motor. Now, when you go back to neutral here, the ESC will reinitialize and rearm, and the programming is complete. It is not necessary to go through the entire manual programming process every time. As an example, if you only need to change setting number three, reverse amount, you can simply turn off the ESC once it gets to setting number four. Any settings that were remaining will stay at their previously programmed values. Please comment below for suggestions for future tech tips, and thanks for watching.